this problem, we have an interesting diagram which asks, what is the power delivered by or absorbed in the 20V source? So we are given 20 volts to our left right here. We are also given 8 amps, we are given 16 amps, and we're given 100 volts, followed by a 3 times a I delta. To solve this, we are going to have to recall steps that we've done from previous problems. So these will all be linked below because these are all a buildup to this fourth problem. So we have this problem where we only had one current right here, this eight amps, this was our one current. And if we go back to our current problem, we have this 16 amps, this eight amps, and this three times I delta, which is gonna be in amps. So now we have three amps here. So this is a little bit different. If we go back up even further, we can see the same thing where we have multiple voltages and only one amp. And then we go back up to this first problem. And this first problem is really the key on how we are actually going to solve this problem. We can see it's the same exact thing. However, it's asking us to find I delta. We're going to use the I delta to solve our current problem. That's how we're going to find the power on the 20 volt circuit. So back down to our current problem like this, I'm going to reshow how we find the I delta. When we look at a node, which is this point or this point, anything going into our node is equal to a negative and anything going out of our node is equal to a positive. It's a little bit backwards from the normal thinking. Usually in would be positive and out would be negative, but in this case, in is negative and out is positive. Whatever node we look at does not matter. We're going to get the same answer. So if we look at the node in red at the top, it's going to be the same as the answer we get for the node at the bottom in blue. In fact, I'm going to actually demonstrate this. So first we are going to find the node in red. First, we're going to look at this, our I delta, our single I delta. It is going out, so it's going to be a positive I delta delta. Now we look at our 16 amps, which is going into it. Since it's going into our node, it is going to be a negative 16 amps. After this, we have this 3 times I delta, which is going in. And since it's going in, that means it has to be a negative. So we're going to have a negative 3 I delta, and that's all equal to zero, because at the node, everything must equal zero. From here, we are just going to add our deltas together, our I deltas, and we're going to get a negative 2 I delta, and then we could just move 16 over to the other side and we get 16 amps. And after we do this, we can see that our I delta is equal to a negative 8 amps. If we wanted to do the same thing for the lower part in blue, we can. So we are going to look at the blue part, and for this one, we're going to look at 8 amps because that's what's going into it. We are going to look at the 16 amps again, and we are going to look at this 3i delta. We're not going to look at this i delta because it's not interacting with our node. So now we're looking at this bottom node. We'll first look at the 8 amps part. This is going out, so this is going to be a positive 8 amps. Now we're going to look at our 16 amps. This is going out as well, so this is a positive 16 amps. Next, we're going to look at our 3i delta, which is also going out, so this is a 3i delta. And this all has to equal zero because at the node, it is equal to zero. Now we're going to move the amps over to the other side. So we have three I delta, and this is going to be equal to a negative 24 amps. Doing basic math, we can see that our I delta for this will be equal to negative eight, which is exactly the same as what we got for our top node. So now that we know the actual current flowing through this entire problem is negative eight amps, we can just find the power by using the power formula. And the power formula is that power is equal to volts times amps. So we can just plug in the volts that we want to find and then our amps that's running through the system. So our P is gonna be equal to the 20 volts since it's asking us to find 20 volts. And now we plug in our current, which is going to be negative eight amps. And from here, we can see that power is equal to negative 160 watts. And this is the answer. If this video helped you out, help me out, give me a like, I'd really appreciate it, and have a great day. I'm actually really kind of sad I didn't get to eat that beef stroganoff. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding.